definitely in control of this game. Uzo with six points during an 11-4 Tulsa run to cut the deficit to 12 after they trailed by 19. Now you see the pressure being applied. Liberty gets it inbounds, but there's that turnover nearly. Jarvis ends up with a loose basketball. And those are the ones that hurt you right there. You like the effort, but you got to come up with those loose balls. Lewis has it in his hands, guarded by Jordan. And they get it back to the senior Liberty. Tries to get around, and ORU is going to get the ball back. A shove called on Ben Uzo. He almost came up with another turnover. That's his second. Sixth team foul on the Golden Hurricane. The next foul will send the Golden Eagles into the bonus. New 35. And that's very important when you're down to 4.15 to go in the second half. Definitely is. Now they're in the bonus. All they got to do is make free throws. His second. 17 foul. Or are you now the bonus? Giving Ogunye back in. Ogunye, the prince, back in for the Golden Eagles, as is also, Sean, Sean King. King. Ihambe oh, and Marcus Lewis will take a breather as you look at the team fouls here in the second half. The Golden Hurricane was 7 and 10 for ORU. We are back at the Maybe Center. Mike Wolf and Rod Thompson, 325 to go in this one. And it has been all ORU for the majority of the night. 73-59, they lead it. And TU will go to the free throw stripe to try to cut into that deficit. Ray Reese at the line for TU, 6'5", 215 pound junior. Shooting 100% from the line this season, 4 of 4. And his fifth one goes down as well. And that's what you have to do now. 325 left after the timeout. Watch, look for TU to apply more pressure, trying to get the steals, get in the passing lane, to try to get a quick turnover and a quick score. And second one rattles out, and the Golden Eagles come down with a rebound. You got to make it in order to set it up. And there's Uzo right there, just picking it up. They say, hey, we don't need to get into a trap. Just let me play defense. And good job getting the deflection. Well, that doesn't happen too much without Liberty. He's real solid with that ball. Uzo, one of the bright spots for the Golden Hurricane tonight. 20 points, 6 of 11, shooting 2 of 3 from behind the arc. That 3 is no good, and Lewis comes down with a rebound, and he is hacked by Calvin Walls. And now you see Lewis again, so valuable to this team. Gets it done. Take another look at it. So strong right there. Having the ball, Walls. Make a quick foul. And Lewis will go to the free throw line. That was Lewis's seventh rebound on the night. And he'll go to the line for the one and one. Lewis has been so valuable for this team. First one is good. ORU, we talked about that 50% mark that no one has been able to break that against a Wojcik coached TU team in 63 games, but tonight 50.9% from the field so far for ORU. Second shot is no good, but the rebound out across midcourt, and Robert Jarvis goes out to retrieve it. And those second and third shots, we talked about one of the keys with second shots and shot selection for ORU, and they've been able to execute, especially on the second shot. Doing a little bit of clock here. 15 on the shot clock for ORU. Leading by 14. 
Liberty penetrates, shot off the glass, and good, 76-60. And that's just a strong move when you have Liberty as a weapon right there, able to dribble this ball and dribble the air out of it and then penetrate and make that strong move so you get basket and you get to work some of the clock. That's just the way you execute it. See, you're using a lot of time here. 16 on the shot clock. Uzo down low to Walls. He shot altered by Vili, but there for the pushback, Jerome Jordan. And there you see Uzo showing a great dribble penetration right there, getting in the lane. And Jordan able to get the finish. Now just be a game of keep away now. ORU with a 14-point advantage. Scott Sutton will call a timeout, make sure all his guys are on the same page. And when you shoot free throws like ORU does, 72% for the season, it's going to be tough if you're wearing a blue and black uniform tonight. It definitely is, and, and you know, some of the guys, they are good shooters, especially from the free throw line. That's the luxury they have. You know, you have the good shooters, you have Liberty controlling that point guard. When they have a lead like that, they're good enough off the dribble to create their own shot, as we see Liberty and Jarvis do. And so late in the game, when you have that lead, and you have guys that can step up and make free throws and handle the ball from that guard position, it gives you a weapon. And this is a team, you look at their roster, Rod, Adam Liberty, senior, Moses Ahambe, senior, Sean King, senior, Yemi Ogunye, senior. These guys maybe didn't see as much of the floor in the last couple of years with Caleb Green and Ken Tuck, but these guys have been in this program, know what it takes to play in NCAA tournaments, and that experience is shown tonight. And, and it's going to take a while. You've seen a good showing for them tonight, but it's going to take a while for them to mesh. You know, you lose two guys like Green and Tuck, you know, so they're still trying to find the pieces, but look like Coach Sutton is doing a good job of definitely doing that. Definitely impressed with Marcus Lewis tonight as he has been Mr. Inside for the Golden Eagles every time they needed a clutch basket or rebound, 21 in white was there. Well, well, he's definitely, if I was handing out the M MVP, he definitely would be that. He established that inside presence, was strong, and did a number of things down in the post. Scored a number of different ways, did a good job of passing the ball, coming up with loose balls. He showed his all-around game, so strong, created great space down inside, was definitely the key to this ORU victory if it holds up in the last minute 30. Adam Liberty knocks down his first free throw, 77-62. 90 seconds left. And his second one good as well. And Jarvis really the spark plug for that early run to get ORU the lead. But Lewis, Mr. Consistency the rest of the way. Jordan with a two-handed flush to make it 78-64. And all TU can do is send the Golden Eagles to the free throw stripe. All the Golden Eagles have to do now is make free throws. And welcome back to the Maybe Center where Mayor Kathy Taylor of Tulsa has just presented the Golden Eagles of Oral Roberts with the Mayor's Cup for 2007, their fourth win in the last five tries in this outstanding series here in T-Town. Mike Wolf and Rod Thompson here with you. 84-70, the final tonight. The Golden Eagles can celebrate a victory over their rivals from 11th and Harvard. And a good job by ORU. They came out, weathered the storm early. You know, TU came out, played extremely well in that first, you know, seven, eight minutes of that ball game, but they seen the weather, the storm came back and came away with a quality win. They played extremely well. ORU shot 52.6% from the field. The first time in 63 games that a team has shot over 50% from the field against Doug Wojcik's TU team. As you take a look at that field goal percentage, 9 of 21 for the Golden Eagles from behind the arc, 10 of 19 for TU. And then points off turnover, 17, but the big thing, points in the plane, 36 to 26. We talked about Marcus Lewis, what he was able to do down inside establishing. We said before the game, we highlighted two guys. You know, we talked about Jordan and King. It was going to be key. Who was going to be established inside? And you take a look at this 